welcome back to Good Day State Line. We have some very, very historically smart guests today from the Rockford Public Library. Gene and Doug are here. We got a lot to talk about, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, so should we start with the fact that there's a big fundraiser tonight? It's yep. the 150th anniversary of the library. That's huge. Tell us a little bit about the fundraiser. Well, the fundraiser is going to be at uh, 120 um, North 3rd Street. It's where the uh, oh, Fran Kral Fran dealer, car, dealer. car okay. dealership used to be. So that's tonight from 6 to 9. Uh, the tickets are $75, and all of the proceeds go to helping enliven the new library. And it's going to have um, heavy appetizers and a cash bar uh, provided by Lino's and Gelato Joe's. Okay. And there will be a DJ. And, Sounds fun. Uh, yeah, live painting and lots of activities. Yeah, and there's, there's still time to join, and you can either go to our website or go to Eventbrite. Okay, and I hear you can get tickets at the door, too. I believe so, yeah. Which is great. Okay, so tonight is a big fundraiser for the 150th birthday, um, and that brings us kind of back in time. <laughs> Jean is the expert about the Rockford Public Library. Uh, tell us about, you know, all of this history that you guys brought with you today. Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, back in 1872, the Illinois legislature passed the Illinois Public Library Act. And actually, we were the first state to do so, Ooh. just to let you know. <laughs> yes, we were ahead of everybody. And uh, the citizens of Rockford had been agitating for a public library, and that's the word the newspaper uses. Okay. Uh, so right after that, the bill was passed in March. Um, by uh, July, the mayor had appointed nine, a nine-member board, okay. which serves without pay. Mm -hmm. They still serve without pay, bless their hearts. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, Elias Cosper, whose photograph is there, is known as the rock, the father of the library because he worked so hard to get it going. Awesome. He and uh, S.C. Withrow and a, one of the Thompsons and a bunch of the other people worked at that. So by the July 30th, 1872 board minutes, written by Mr. Cosper, who as Doug said, has a wonderful... He has great handwriting. He was, <laughs> he was the secretary too. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> they're saying that they'll have a, a reading room available. So in August of 1872, they have a reading room in the Wallach building, and we have the illustration there. Uh, that was at the corner of North Main and State Streets. Mm -hmm. uh, today, that's where the Visitors Convention Bureau is and the parking lot. Yeah. So just to orient yourself, that's where the library started out, up on the second floor. I've seen notes that say the board members actually had to go in and do the paint the walls themselves. <laughs> okay. Which they don't do anymore, I don't think. You no, know, they don't. No. Hire somebody <laughs> these days. <laughs> yes. Then uh, they were in that building until July 1876, the American centennial year, at which point they moved over to the north side of West State Street, the 100 block. Okay. And actually you can almost oh, make I out, know there's is. the word library. Yeah, this is the restaurant right now, I think. No. No, not these days? No, this is where Luther said. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, this is on the west side. Oh, but gosh, you, gotcha, gotcha. And you can also see the iron uh, bridge crossing State Street. And then oh, cool. this is all on the east side of the river right I here. see. But uh, that's, Wait, that's, let's see what's so then here. they were there until November of 1903, and this is the Carnegie Building. This is from the Riverside, because of the extra steps. Uh -huh. uh, there was a big discussion as to whether or not it should be on the east or west side of the river when Carnegie gave the, the money. Mm -hmm. And they settled on the west side, and uh, so the river, there's no, there was no front or back door. You had two front doors. Oh. So this was on the riverside, so the okay. east siders could see it. And then in the 1960s, they remodeled it, and this is what almost everybody knows. This, this was built in 65. Um, they then gutted the Carnegie Building to the exterior walls and found that those walls were so thick, they were like 14 inches thick, that they put this third floor on, which was not in the original plans. Huh. So that's... 
I think that's kind of cool. I think it's all kind of cool. Jean is a wealth of knowledge. I'm going to invite you guys to come back again soon because we got even more to talk about. Uh, you can get more details about the library. We're going to take you back to the site of the new library soon too, rockfordpubliclibrary.org. Coming up next, we're off to eat some more pizza at Villa de Roma and then Spirit Day with Q98.5.